Hi, Dr. Jerry Curatola here. Um, I have a patient, a lovely patient, Lorena Chavez, and uh, she came in with a very common complaint. This tooth had a root canal, and the dentist that had performed the root canal and the post and the crown kept saying, well, he didn't see anything wrong. And people often ask me, well, how do cavitations form? Cavitations form when bacteria that are trapped at the end of a canal um, actually can continue to propagate and grow. And so a cavitation, a cavity is a hole in a tooth, a cavitation is a hole in the jaw. And that hole can be formed by a cyst or by infection. So if I carefully look here, you can see some infection here and a faint outline. If you look carefully and zoom in on this, you can see the faint outline. This often shows up with a what's called a CT scan, a three-dimensional x-ray of the jaw. But I want to take you to the monitor, and on the monitor you can actually see the tooth and around the end of the root, over here, you can see the infection that was causing the discomfort and this patient to have pain. So what's, what's really important about this is that that infection, studies have shown that that infection does not stay in one place. That infection can actually sp spread throughout the whole body. Patients can have a tooth without any discomfort at all, and they could have serious complications in other parts of their body from chronic infection from a tooth, just like this. So, Lorena, how do you feel? Right now. You want to tell your story? Tell a little story about what, what you experienced. Um, so basically, I, I came to you because I'm suffering from inflammation in my body. And um, there was a possibility that it could be due to amalgams being removed um, the wrong way, which caused um, my teeth uh, to break and get two root canals done in the same tooth. Um, and I kept experiencing pain, sensitivity, um, and I was told that it was due to just gum sensitivity, which in reality, as we looked further, Dr. Caratola found a real big infection and a cyst. We didn't realize it was this big. So this is very, very common complaint. The patient has been having systemic problems and there was no known cause. And if you look at the, the infection that was actually there that we removed this evening, um, you can see that obviously that was an area where there was a cyst on another part of the tooth. There was just chronic infection. So. So she had surgery tonight, how do you feel? Right now, fantastic, <laughs> numb. You feel a little numb? Yes. Um, one of the things I'd like to point out is this laser over here. This is um, the BioLase, it's a water laser instrument. This instrument actually, um, there's a process called bone decortication to repair the bone. Because bacteria do harbor in the bone. And we use the laser, the laser actually ozonates the water, so it creates, it creates an ozone water spray and it actually stimulates the bone to do three things. It disinfects the bone, it vaporizes diseased tissue, but it also helps the body regenerate. So it stimulates the bone cells to divide and grow back faster. So we've done that and uh, that's about it for tonight, so this is my little speech on dental cavitations.